In this video, the day has finally arrived. Uh, Miss Hubnut is going to drive Giselle the GSA. We've had some problems trying to sort out our insurance. We've managed to get short-term insurance sorted out. That insurance was sorted out through Vago, which is an offshoot of Admiral. And uh, I think it's cost something like eight pounds for six hours of cover on the car, which is actually more than we need, but at eight quid, who's complaining? Not sponsored. Um, it's just um, what we found trying to buy the cover online. We actually really struggled. It's quite hard to get short-term insurance for a newly qualified driver. Yeah, if you've got under 12 months on your license, they're a little bit reluctant. Um, uh, there were, who was it we went to? And they said, oh, we specialize in new drivers. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah, I can't, can't remember who it was, but uh, <laughs> we went through the process and they went, oh, no, no, we can't cover you. Yeah, and that. didn't explain why. No, Helpful. which is the frustrating thing. Yeah, but we're going to get in the car quite quickly. So I don't cold. know if you can see, if I flip the camera, that is snow on them there hills. And also Brr. a massive boat. We don't usually have massive ones, but that's bringing Norwegian rocks over to Avery Run oh, yeah. for the uh, coastal defences. There you go. We've got boats as well, folks. Yeah, impressive. But yeah, it's quite cold out here. So let's um, get in. Let's get in. Uh, without further ado. Oh, symbolic. You get the keys and I get to go in the passenger seat. This is going to be unusual. Excuse the state of Giselle, the roads are filthy at the moment. Oh, right. I bet there's no, I can't reach the... You can't reach the seatbelt. No. I'll have to pretend we're a Mercedes and I'll pass it to you, <laughs> don't you? Thank you. Yes, unfortunately, Miss Hubnut is rather diminutive stature and uh, has to be quite close to the steering wheel, not just for the legs, but also the arms. People say you're too close to the wheel, but if you put your wrists atop the steering wheel, yeah, your wrist, just rest your wrist like that. Yeah, you see, that's kind of, <laughs> it's where she needs to be, folks. Yeah. Uh, so yes. we've got the um, amazing controls to take in, even before we start yeah, the Yeah, now engine. this is the thing, is that, obviously, Shemi's very basic. Oh, I've got my windows there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Giselle that's is... not this, because this the horn is, is here. Yeah, yeah. You, I can see the horn from here, but from the driver's seat, you can't see that. I mean, it, I understand it's kind of, it's it makes sense. Yeah, it's committing stuff to muscle memory, so yes. indicate left. Uh, left up your down. Yeah, yeah. Indicate right. There we go. And they don't self cancel, so, so you got have to, to them turn off. them off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so left, right. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, and yeah. that's the horn. If we need wipers, it's the top dial. And you rotate um, that way for intermittent and two this way for on. Because and then, and then there's a fast setting as well. Where's uh, the fast? Uh, one more turn this way. There we go. Fast. Uh, back to on. naught. Zero. Hopefully we won't need them. Intimate. Screen wash is the button on the top. And for some reason, because it's a Citroen, it's a solenoid rather than a pump. So it just does bzz, and you have to hit it several times. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Hazards? Hazards, yeah. There isn't much over there. Uh, fog lights. Rear fog lights, yeah, yeah. That is about it. She's a special. It's, yeah, it's so she's the very lowly scant. spec. Very I scant. mean, frank, frankly, the rev counter shouldn't be there. Someone's changed the binnacle, so she's yes. a bit posh. She should just have special. We do have a special binnacle, but... Um, yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, stop looking at the dogs. Uh, gear lever pattern is entirely conventional, same uh, as Shem's. And the handbrake. Just much more clunky. And that is your handbrake. Okay. Which only just seems to be holding on this hill. That's okay. Shem's is a bit rubbish also. Yeah, we've got and the heater, heater, heater is set on. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do that. That's my side. Okay. Do I need to unwind the window and actually stick my hand on the mirror? Oh, do we need to adjust mirrors? We'll, we'll no, do actually, that. actually, I can see lines, so we're okay. okay. I think what about this one over here? No, that's way off. Okay, I'll have to do this one. Oh, you no electric mirrors. It's do the I? bendy key. Okay, I don't know oh, what the key... it's somewhere odd, isn't it? Yeah, it's just down there by your knees. Really convenient. So we don't need choke because she's just been running. Warm, yeah. So uh, we need to go into neutral, obviously. How about just well? No, no. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so you might need a bit of throttle to start her up because she hasn't got fuel injection. Okay, what, I press? Yeah. Hang on, let me just check. I've got the control. A, B, C, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually quite conventional. How much throttle? Um, a fair bit. Um, and then she catches, come off Foot it. to the floor? Yeah, for a hot start. Okay. Same as Ellie. And then off it. <laughs> yes. As soon as she catches, <laughs> Sorry, off the throttle. Giselle. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. She went right in the red. Oh, there's a, there's a the whiff of petrol. Dinky. Right. Yeah, yeah. Where are we taking this car? Um, well, we, we're not allowed to go up that way, so I think we'll do a gentle turn and go around. Okay, gentle turn. Yeah. That's not the tick over. Someone is giving it a bit of throttle there. There we go. No, it's not there. Yeah. That's where the stereo is, oh, or yeah. should be. Now she's not going to buck in the same way. 
Shemi does. So when? Yep, there you no, go. That's too little. Ah, oh, oh. it. The, what do we do? We put the handbrake on, but the handbrake's not off. Yeah, yeah. And what else? Put take her out again. Yeah. Just love being See, on driving lessons She just doesn't have again. signs, does she? Like no. Shemi, if you no, have to because, <laughs> because the handbrake's on the front <laughs> wheels, you don't get the back squatting mm. down. Uh, so that is a key difference. Two CVs. So what am I looking for then? Um, you just need to kind of feel it. The revs will drop right, down. Do I need to put the throttle on again? Uh, no, I think she'll probably be all right because you're doing quick start. That is a stupid position. Yes. Just to demonstrate. Yeah, there she goes. How short my arms are. Yeah, you just got to try and work it out. It's not. It's not got the feel though. Do you no, know what I mean? no, it hasn't. Also, I appreciate the next problem is going to be steering her because she doesn't... No power steering. Yeah, this is going to be fun. No, not there. That's the stereo. That button's this size. Come underneath it. And the button's there. Oh, there we go. No! Oh. Damn it. Oh, handbrake. <laughs> Why, why did we start this on a hill? That was a yeah, bit that cruel was a bit in cruel, hindsight. Let's be honest. Yeah, I'm just put my arm down. Oh. <laughs> did not hold that Wait, down. Right, another clip. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that was so close. Yeah. I should have dipped the clutch a bit more then when she was not. You do have to respond yeah. to it. She does bog yeah, yeah, quite yeah. heavily. I think because. I think the carburetor jetting, to be honest, needs tweaking for unleaded fuel. We do, in two CVs, we run a richer primary jet to um, try and get rid of a flat spot. She's flat spots quite badly at about 1,500 revs. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, sorry, Giselle. Oh, you yeah. are a bugger, aren't you? Oh, I'm not she is a bugger. Clutch. Excuse language, apologies. Okay. Get off the clutch now. Yep. Do you want to do a lap of the car park or are we just um, going to go straight out on the road? I don't know. Uh, there easy. is a council gentleman which makes me a little uneasy. I don't want to get fined. <laughs> yeah, don't flatten the council gentleman. Mm. No, There's no. room to go all the way around though if you want to. Okay. We're not going to get fined, we're not actually parking. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Do you think that's going to work? Yeah. The brake pedal is odd. Oh yeah, I didn't mention the no, brake pedal. The brake pedal that, that's basically really odd. doesn't move. Oh my god. Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's oh. that flat spot. Yeah. Oh hello. <laughs> but then she, she picks the up. gearing is a lot lower than your charade, so yeah. she will go quicker. You will find yourself using a higher gear. Uh, slower speeds so from about 40 you can use fifth, fifth quite comfortably. Yeah, you said whereas show me will she's just not thrilled no she's, she doesn't she won't do it uphill she's not thrilled at the prospect yeah how are you feeling i'm feeling all right actually it's should we do a stop what do you mean stop a stop like emergency stop yeah oh that was lovely that was good use of the brake because it is a fierce brake if you just hit the pedal like you would in a similar car of this age You'll go through the windscreen. It's that simple. <laughs> now, very, very powerful brakes. Right, should we get out on the road? Yep. I don't want to go through the windscreen. No. No, didn't have time to get the mount set up and uh, a good observation because yeah, we've got a van yeah. parked there and someone going round the van. That's what we like to see. Yeah, the brake response is different. Yeah, yeah, the brakes are super responsive. Let's clean the pin. Hello, Glyn. Cancel the indicator because it won't self-cancel. Oh, sugar. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for that one to come through just because I'm not sure of this this car that I am driving currently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna be doing another hill start. Get used to that handbrake. <laughs> yeah. Woo! This is more of a battle than my car. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> a lot more work. You'll find your workload is much harder. But yeah, first time driving an old car and you're driving it up a hill. There isn't really much choice in yeah. Yuki. Because you haven't even driven a 2CV yet. Whereas no, no. the Hublets have driven a, a friend's 2CV around the field. We didn't let you because we were saving you for Ellie. People said, what member of the fleet are you going to drive first? 
And the sensible thing would have been say Myrtle. Yeah, yeah. What a little smart that we just got. No, let's be... She will take third, won't she? Oh, not when there's a uh, pedestrian there. That's no. awkward. Oh my gosh, you're getting all the look, look here, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Let's put the handbrake on for a second. That is not on. Don't wait to do handbrake. You go. Thank you. There we go. I have to do similar with um, little Miss Hubnut sometimes. Just one less thing to worry about. Yeah, the gearing. I'll do the handbrake. You worry about the bite. The gearing is different. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, you struggle with Chevy to get her up in third on here, but Giselle wants it. You hear that boom? That's a second choke opening up on the throttle. Ah, okay. It's like having two carburettors. That's, the, that's the sports bit. Might need to take my jumper off. Yeah. <laughs> well, to your right, you've got the fresh air vent, which is currently closed. Oh, I don't think I'm going to try and... Let's not mess with stuff right now. So yeah, you'll, you'll find the um, way the car behaves is just so very different. Yeah. She'll roll a bit more in the bends. She floats more because she's got that also, wonderful hydro pneumatic thing, suspension. Like this wheel's ginormous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do watch your fingers on the top because I've got okay. that cover on it, which gives you a bit of extra leverage. It's much better than the bare wheel. Uh, there isn't much gap between the top of the wheel and that plastic hood there. Okay. So um, as my poor MOT tester found out, now I wonder, years ago. does the special have less of a lip? No, I think it's or the same. Just a, uh, yeah, it's just to hood the uh, yeah, dials. Yeah. I apologise for the dust. We haven't given poor Giselle a clean out for a while. No. I should pull in somewhere so I can take my jumper off. Okay. And ponder our next move. We're good. That Oop. is so annoying. What the self-cancelling indicator <laughs> yeah. lap off? Yeah, but on a roundabout, you know how you get annoyed with Shems oh, turning yeah, the indicator yeah, yeah. off? This doesn't do that. No, okay. So swings and roundabouts. Swings Allow and roundabouts. that. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. We are um, not quite so dressed. It is quite warm today. Also, it's the stred strenuous activity. I must say, I am seriously impressed with your braking. Most people get into a hydraulic Citroen and, um, yeah, they have problems. Because I, I think Leanne found that when uh, she drove this car when it was at Wyland Restorations. And I think, I think they've been having fun with the DS they've got in at the moment oh, as well. yes, that's exciting. That colour on that is glorious. In the DS, you don't get a pedal, you just get a rubber mushroom in the floor. <laughs> Technical term? Yeah. Ah, the odd thing is, of course, this is the first car really I've driven, apart from Chevy, judging how big she is and what yeah, shape yeah. she is. Oh gosh, I'm going too fast as well. Chevy doesn't Yeah, I might want to drop fast. a cog. Where am I? Fourth? Yeah. Third. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah, that's far more forgiving. Yeah, it's the one thing I will say, I do not think this is a very forgiving car. It's a very hard car to drive smoothly, especially at slow speeds. And uh, the gear change is very, very clunky. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's not a joyous car to actually drive slowly around places. When you're flying down the road at 60 miles an hour, it's an absolute joy. And uh, surely we'll be able to do a bit of that. Oh, well, goody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know ah, about judging the size of this car. Hello. Oh, now that's different. Shame wouldn't have let me get around that in third. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I, uh, I don't know about go, 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 go. We'll go a bit faster. Oh, this is the business. What? You're doing really well. Yeah, that steering load, it does lighten up once you start getting up to speed, but car park maneuvering. I remember when we were at your parents and I was having to parallel oh, park. yes, yes, yes. Oi, absolutely the horrendous. The is an odd sensation from a driver's perspective. It is, isn't it? The, the car is just yeah. kind of moving Very gently all the time. From a, from a driver perspective. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, she picks up speed more than Shemi does, so you've got to be careful. I'm looking at the I'm speed not there. sure there's much different, to be honest. I think I it feels different because of the lower gearing. It's very, very busy. Yeah. So at motorway speed, she's um, getting on for 4,000 revs at motorway speeds, which is and a Shem's lot more than a Shemi. 3,000. Yeah, yeah. Shemi would happily sit at 70 at yeah. 3,000 revs. I'll tell you what, as I do this, I'm more and more in awe of um, uh, Jim my assistant doing this in the smart crossblade with no windscreen or roof. <laughs> Why? How he kept the camera steady, I've absolutely no idea, but 
That was an experience. An experience which led directly to us acquiring. Oh, oh my oh, God. That was a bump. That was a cheeky little. Jeep, jeepers. I nearly added an expletive there, but I resisted. That was a horrible pothole. Resisted pot temptation. That's, that's dangerous. Lovely old Volvo truck there. Yeah, that, that, that was a bad one. And uh, for all their good suspension, I will say a hydraulic Citroen struggles with really bad potholes. Right, we are going right. Yep. And then left. Yep. Hmm, okay. Does she want to drop it into second? Hey, yeah, Beery. We've got to stop anyway, so it'll be a first gear. That's true. Love the fact they parked the horse box right there to block I'm your vision. I'm letting that Civic go and then I'm yeah, going to yeah. go. We're still good. We're still good. Oh, yeah, I did put the hammer. Fuck, that was nice. Take all the junction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. And then left again. Cancel that and go again. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry, this is Talgaric Road, not the Majorlin. Yeah, Talgaric, not. Well, it is Majorlin if you come off it. Oh, that's not second. Indicator. <laughs> oh, now you are going to have to work out how to wipe oh as well. Oh my gosh. Intermittent was that way. Yeah. Oh, that, thanks, thanks, Giselle. Did that just not happen for a moment? <laughs> yeah, it did. Because French. <laughs> So you'll notice the wipers are perfectly set up for me. Oh, that's much better on this side. I should have got a left-hand drive GSA. Wee. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, that's great. Now I can see absolutely nothing. Superb. You've got a nice clean view though. Yeah, yeah. I think the wiper blades are getting a bit aged. I think I fitted new blades when we got Giselle. Oh, sir. Which was Ooh, four years get ago. Get over then. there. So how are you finding it? She's fine, she's just very heavy. Yeah. I mean driving, this is the thing, like driving obviously had a mystique for me, but driving is driving. Yeah. Um, however convoluted etc the, the what's it's our signals and whatnot everything is, it's still just driving. So this car has got some special memories for us. This is the first collection cable we did together. Indeed. Four and a bit years ago. She was our trusty steed during uh, lockdown. Yeah, Hot for our hole. weekly supermarket drive. Remember yeah. that? It was just like, oh my God, we can go out today. We can today. go out. Yeah, yeah. God, that was such an event, wasn't it? Yeah. What else have you done, Giselle? Oh, she was my first appearance on the Hubnet channel. Indeed, your hand appeared. Yeah, my hand. When we had issues with the rear door. <laughs> or Which, the window. Uh, we have again. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, Chevy, I belt Chevy down these roads at the speed limit, obviously. Um, no, genuinely, I've not put my license at risk. Um, but yeah, this is different. This, I mean, I'm only doing 40. Apologies if anybody comes up behind us. But uh, yeah, she's a lot more. <laughs> it's a lot more involved as a driving experience. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to sneak the camera in just there, just for a look at the dials, because they're amazing. They are amazing. We tried and to get, get back out of your way. We tried to get a good picture the other day, but unfortunately, um, the windscreen isn't great, as you can probably yeah. tell. All right, there we go. Oh, this one's for sale, that dude, isn't it? Which one? The little cottage. Oh, is it all part mm, of the same hello. thing? Very nice. Uh, probably out of our budget. I think, yeah, by probably however many pounds it is. Right. Have I improved the wiper situation? Let's uh, find let's out. Let's have a look. Oh, no, that's super crazy wipers. Um, hmm. Some really bad scratches on the windscreen, which really don't help. I think mean, no. you can see those. Does she have a real windscreen wiper? No. Oh. No, because she's a lowly special. Oh, special, yes. So the uh, rear wiper is um, in your door pocket. Great. But because she's a fastback style, she doesn't she get spray on yeah, the rear yeah. window. So if you get above 60, which we can't do at the moment, it's 20 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour speed limit. Um, just there. And just like just going, this is my right. road. I'm claiming it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does start self-clearing just with the aerodynamics because these are very aerodynamic cars. Yay! Freedom <laughs> signs. <laughs> yeah, Giselle just tried a little bog down there, but I managed to catch yeah. it, so I'm quite pleased with that. It's really weird. You like Giselle? Giselle? Chemi? You can feel the speed differences quite mark markedly, but you really can't. 
hard to pick yourself, so it's no, hard to tell where you are. You really do have to keep an eye on the speedo. I agree, in Shems, you're, you can probably guess at what speed you're doing yeah. quite accurately. Oh, here we are in um, Bulkevatva. Well done. Boy. That was a good one. But incidentally, this sign is about the grill blind. We haven't actually got it fitted today. We probably should, because I think it is below 10 degrees. What, a muff. A muff, yes. <laughs> but uh, we, we haven't got the muff in today. And to be honest, she's feeling quite cosy. She is definitely feeling cosy. Boy, now then. It's that heave around the corner. It's, like, it's the heave on the corner and then... And then getting off again. You have to kind of keep the revs Ooh, up. Oh, you monkey. She, yep, she bogs. She bogs. I don't know if it's by design, because air-cooled engines, obviously, if the, the I, lower the engine speed, the lower the cooling speed. If I dropped the gear, do you think she'd have been happier? Yeah, she's okay. a screamer. She don't mind a bit of revving. You think that of every car we own? That's accurate. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Shelby, oh yeah, she loves being driven like she was stolen. No, she doesn't. She loves it. She doesn't. It is notable that since you've been driving that car more, the oil consumption has gone down. <laughs> but I'm sure that's unrelated. 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 We are hill climbing in Giselle. Yeah, we're in fourth, 50 miles an hour, just over 3,000, well, about three and a half thousand revs. Which is a lot more physical than Chevy. There's that slightly noisy alternator. Yeah. It doesn't like that speed. <laughs> which equates to um, 67 or 69 in fifth. You have to avoid that speed. But I'm in... Fourth, fourth, yeah. and I'm doing 52. She'll take fifth. No, I know she will, but what I'm saying is I'm not doing that speed just in case anybody thinks I'm on a 60 road doing 69. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but there we go. How does Gisela's speed feel? Asha feels great. I mean, she is significantly more physical. I'm in a better... Um, I've got a better reach of the pedals and stuff in Giselle than I have in Chemi. Oh, but, so we need um, to sell Chemi. Okay. No, absolutely not. But, um, yeah, she is more physical. I can, yeah. You can feel it very much in your legs and your arms. So I guess technically this is your first car review. Yeah. So what can you tell me about the Citroen GSA? So uh, this is Giselle. She's a 1.3 1986. Citroen GSA Special, but she has palace seats. She does. Um, They're knackered, but they are palace seats. I believe by 1986 the GSA was an older design. You had the GS, the GSA. They've been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, it was launched as the GS in 1970. And of course, the one car of the year. The GSA overlaps with the BX. It was introduced in 1983. 1982 in France, but 1983. All right, in the UK, all yeah. right, smarters. 1983. Yeah. So interesting to mark that these two were on the same sort of stage because, of course, this is very curvy. Yeah, yeah. Sort of historic Citroen, and then you had the BX that is very geometric. Very, very straight line. Very, yeah. very of its time. Yeah. So yeah, interesting that the two were on the market at the same time. Yeah. Well, I mean, to, to be fair, production of these actually ended in 1984, and the fact this is registered in '86 tells you. They were really struggling to sell them towards the end. Uh, they the, were producing them in colours like beige and yeah, green. Yeah, Giselle was beige originally. And they really did commit to the uh, colour palette. So yeah, yeah. if you oh, had the brown. If it was beige, it was beige everywhere. Yeah, yeah. If it was green, it was green everywhere, which I think is glorious. The blue particularly is my favourite. But um, is that but, all right? Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, it's very good, yeah. <laughs> You're a natural. Oh, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's been a superb family car for us because it has been a superb we can get car. the kids in the back we've managed to get two dogs and a weekend luggage and the boots and everything <laughs> it's been uh, a great car for us she we've did. even had to use the suspension which can just the height off oh, here yes we did uh, because we had to that flooding flood. yeah yeah <laughs> which not ruling it out could happen today at this could rate happen today, could actually. happen today lots yeah. of water about and yeah. they haven't had a chance for the water to drain off beforehand mm. I think Giselle's beautiful. I think she's really beautiful. My dad, of course, had a CX Familial, um, which had the spaceship feel and that people still talk about. Yeah, yeah. And this is the same. I just These dials are incredible. That's why I bought you a set for Christmas, because yeah. then we can just have one on the shelf. Yeah, we got them as decoration. We have. Fact, I think it's up the unit at the moment. It is so currently up the unit because you stole bulbs something out of it. from yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> All good fun. Uh, there we go. Miss Hubnut. Driving Giselle, the GSA. 
in the rain because of course it's raining. So there we go, Miss Hubnut's first drive in Giselle, the Citroen GSA, and how have you found it? So, I've obviously had the realisation that driving is driving, so mm -hmm. it's not too different. And the controls, even though they seem odd, there is some sense in it. Um, the accelerator pedal is very, very soft. And because she doesn't bog down when you're trying to come from a junction, I've been putting a little bit too much beans on it. Um, well, well, yeah, the, the clutch has had an interesting <laughs> experience. Had an interesting day. That's just stuff. Every car is a bit different in that regard. So but yeah, it takes she, some getting used to. Because she doesn't give you those signs, it's kind of hard to judge it. Um, the brake pedal is fine. You were worried that might be a problem. Oh, you're doing actually, amazing with the brakes. I'm yeah. quite happy with the brake pedal. Very progressive. Uh, and then the clutch and the gearing. The gearing is is um, interesting because of course you can go around a junction in third, and she's quite happy to do that. She'll also do 40 miles an hour in fifth. So the gears aren't so labour intensive as they are in Chummy. But I will say you can't judge what speed you're doing. I'm having to be a lot more on the dials and whatnot. Yeah, because, that, um, that is something I find as well. Trying to stick to 20 is a real challenge because 20 doesn't sound very different to 30. No, whereas Chevy, you can definitely tell yeah, the difference. Yeah. You can tell what gear you're in. Um, this is why she's a perfect learner car, obviously. Uh, we have had a couple of times where she's tried to bog down. I've kind of got to grips with that. So, for example, um, I've realised I need to come off the brakes and just need to keep those revs a little bit higher. Yeah. So uh, come off the brake if that's necessary. Yeah, show me, show me the Charade, surprisingly tractable. That engine will pull oh, from ridiculously will. low she revs. Will. And she Giselle will. won't put up with that yeah. behaviour. Yeah. Which is great, again, as a learning car, you know, yeah, she'll yeah. pull when uh, she really wants to be stuttering along, then that's yeah. great stuff. But uh, no, I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed Excellent. it. The windscreen's terrible. The windscreen is terrible, yeah. Yeah, that's not ideal. Probably need to give that a thorough clean with something. But, but this, yeah, this, yeah, it feels on. like something that you know. I've, my dad always talks about his CX Millial and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. it feels a bit special to drive. It, it, very different vehicles. Yeah, yeah, to drive. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, let us know down in the comments what would you like to see Miss Hubnut driving next. Don't be evil. Don't be evil. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can come up with. But, it's uh, going to be Tuck, isn't it? Probably. They are desperate for me to drive yeah. Tuck. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Bye.